In this lesson, we want to take a look at the pages. Now, with the pages, you really can't, when you click on it, nothing happens. And there's a reason for that, but there are pages that are connected to it. And we're going to take a look at that now. So let's go over here to the pages. So let's click on this. So when you want to create a menu that has multiple sub menus, one of the ways that you can do that is you can use this external URL. So to get that, you go to menu item type and you go to system links and you go to external URL. You can just put this hashtag on there because it's not going anywhere. It's not linking. But if I were to change this link to something else, uh, then it's going to change. So if I were to change it to that and I click save, now, when I click on it before, it didn't do anything. But if I click here, it's going to take me to wherever that link that I put it on. So now that we have, we've seen that, I'm just going to take that, you know, just leave that link on there. So save and close. So the other items that are the part of this is the services, the contact, which are all part of page builder, the login. When you go to the login here, you can be able to see. Uh, that this was chosen from here. So you go to menu item type and you go to users and then you can choose your login or log out. That's what this one here is, you know, it's for. And then the registration to it's the same thing. And then this X itself. And let's go over to the 404. And you can create custom 404 pages too. So let's go over to the 404, which is not linking anywhere right now. And then you have the coming soon. You can create your own coming soon page and page builder. So this one right now, this is linking to uh, the 404 page. So let's close that out. And the 404 page that this is linked to, let's, let's click on it and see what happens. We went over this before. This is in the template section. So when you go to extensions, you go to template from the framework. This is where you can be able to, you know, adjust that four for one through that so if you're not sure just go back in the video and take a look at it and the same thing too with the coming soon we already showed you I already showed you how to edit the coming soon so that's where this this is now where it says new let's take a look and see here why it's saying new and how you can do that so when you come here on this uh the mega menu you notice that it has a badge and the badge new it's on the position It's the right. You can change the color instead of having this green. You can have it any other color that you want. So I'm going to change the color to, let's say something like that. Okay. Just that bright yellow and you can have the position to the left or to the right. So let's change that and let's put this. Yes. And icon, you can put an icon, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. And then click on save. When we refresh the page, you notice that we have the yes right there and it gives you flexibility. You can choose the text color. So if I put this to black, or if I put it to white, whatever color I choose, that is what you are going to see here. So now the text has been changed to white. So that just goes to show you, you know, you have a lot of flexibility. It's the same thing too with this one here. They just added this icon. But we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. So that's how you change the yes. I'm sorry, the pages drop down. So when you go over here, so now you see here you have a drop down right and all the items are connected to it. So just this pages, this is the, the primary one. When you add new menus, you have to add them as a sub menu. So let's click on uh, close here. So when you see services, when you go to the right side, you see services under the main menu and you click on the parent item. The parent item for this is the pages is going to highlight it for you. So if you want this to be an independent one, that's that is just by itself. You go to menu item root. When you do that, let's click save and close. And let's refresh this to see what it looks like. So now you have services as an independent menu. It's not underneath anything else. So next, we're going to take a look at the blog.